Hello everybody. I hope you're doing great. It's Tuesday. I've been gone for a couple weeks. I'm so sorry. I really thought I would be here last week, but just didn't happen. I'm looking here to see if I can put the comments on my... Um, hey Juanita! Okay, I don't know who else. Oh, Paper Pumpkin's live too, I guess. I don't really want them on my feed. Um, trying to see if I can... Oh, okay. I, oh, there's the comments. Okay. Awesome. Oh, whew. It has been a crazy couple weeks. Woo. The holidays came and just got me way behind. And then... Um, I planned on doing ketchup on Sunday, and they were offering a pretty good sized bonus to work, and I said I was going to get in on that. So, I ended up doing my real my other job on Sunday, and so I couldn't come home and do ketchup here. So, um, so I just got to make sure I work Thursday and Friday so I can earn that bonus money that I did Sunday. Um, cause it was substantial. <laughs> um, I tried to get my vaccine shot yesterday while I was working and boy, was that a mess. Oh my gosh. It was a two hour line. Could not be off the floor for two hours. So couldn't do it. Had to go back today. Um, got to work literally at 635 this morning. They were starting the shots at seven stood in line for, I didn't get my shot until five till eight. Yeah, 55 minutes in line. And I was there at 640, 635. Walked out of there at 825. Because you have to wait 20 minutes. It was like 20 minutes before I got out of there. So, but I'm officially vaccinated. So, um, yay. Um, I think they say it takes a couple weeks after the second vaccine before you're considered, um, immune. So, I'm happy. I finally got that done. But, I feel really bad for everybody because I consider my employer, like, fairly organized in it. And it was chaos the last two days. So, all you poor people that are going to have to go to the clinics and do it, I just feel for you because I think it's going to be a mess. So, um, today is the official first day of the new catalog. So excited. I have an order ready to go. I haven't actually placed it yet because I'm meeting with a customer tomorrow. And um, I just know I'm going to end up wanting some more stuff after I meet with her. So um, I'm going to wait until I meet with her. I did not get my second class posted in December that I planned on. So Beautiful World is still going to post. I'm just going to move it into the second um, class of this month in January instead of December. So um, that will be posting the end, well, like, what is it? The 22nd of this month. So Beautiful World, my class, that class will post the 22nd of this month. I was supposed to post a class today, but since I didn't get to design it on Sunday like I planned, it's going to post later this week. It will be featuring, I want to post it first because it's more of a love slash Valentine's type of class. So it is featuring the new um, Forever and Always bundle. So, I actually have it right behind me, the stamp set at least, because I haven't even, it's still in my box. No, that's not it. It, here's the dies. Where's the stamp set? Oh. So, this will be, it's this stamp set. 
Love and always. Look, I hadn't even had a chance to get it out of the wrapper. So, I was looking at it today. I'm going to use this stamp set. Of course, I always cut the die stuff out for you. So, you really just have to have the stamp set. You don't have to buy the dies if you don't want to. I will punch that out. Um, then I'm going to actually use this twine. So this will be part of it. Um, and I'm going to use the black little dots, which I don't have in front of me at the moment. It'll be the black. So it's going to be this twine, the black dots, and it's going to be the the paper used in this class will be the the paper from that stamps, the um, True Love designer paper. It's going to be this one at the bottom, this black and white, and I'm going to use some of this foil. So it's going to be these little dots, this foil, and this one here. So. So I'll have a picture of it with the thing, but that's just a heads up. That's what I'm going to be doing for. I just, it's It won't say specifically Happy Valentine's Day. I mean, you're welcome to trade the sentiments out if you wanted to say Happy Valentine's Day. I mean, um, we have plenty of sentiments. Does this actually have Valentine's sentiments in it? No. We have lots of sentiments that say Happy Valentine's Matter of fact, there's some... Um, um, stamp sets in the annual catalog that do say Happy Valentine's Day if you want a Happy Valentine's Day to put inside it. I just didn't want to make it specifically for that. My wedding anniversary is actually in February, so um, I will probably stamp um, a couple sentiments um, in there for my husband. So, well, Tara, thank you for joining us. Um, the other thing that I did, what I have been working on today, because I am behind, is my sweet treat for January. That is this. So it's this cute little card. Isn't this a cute? And this little card. So I totally, when I saw this in the celebration catalog, um, Celebration. I love celebration. Oh my gosh. So when I saw this stamp this stamp set in celebration, I had to have it. It comes with it is called Berry. Oh, I'm dropping it on the floor. It's called Berry Blessings. And it comes with this paper. I love this paper. I so wish this paper. I, I would buy like five packs of this paper probably. Um, cause I love these berries and I'm, I had to have, there's a coordinating stamp set in the mini catalog that is strawberries. And so I purposely made sure I got a hundred dollars worth of stuff so that I could have this celebration stamp set. And then I bought the strawberry and the punch. Matter of fact, it's still on my desk because I made swap cards with it. So, um, I made a strawberry swap card. So that's why I chose, um, usually during um, the months of celebration, my sweet treats are with celebration stamp sets. So this month, of course, it's going to be with the berry. Of course, I make it on a circle or a square. So then that way, it you can use it for something else. And like this paper, I just used the um, check, so it doesn't. It could be something else. And actually, the back side of this one is um, leaves. So even if you didn't want to use the berries right here, if you didn't have the stamp set, you could turn it over and just use the leaves. And it, you could use something else. You could use some flowers or something. So I did also, um, in the kits, these little ladybugs are on a glue dot on a post-it. I had some little post-it labels 
and they are made sure that they come off like you can just pop them off like they stick to the post-it label and then you can pop them off with a tool and then use them on your card so they're still sticky and but you won't lose them in the sweet treat packet so all customers who purchase $25 or more for me get my sweet treat kit as a gift so that is this month's that's what I've been. That video will be uploaded tonight, of course. Unfortunately, YouTube takes forever, so it will take a little bit. So, everybody who got catalogs from me, they went out in the mail last week. So, um, if you were on my list, those got mailed. And everybody got this little tag with their catalog. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to make you this little tag. Um, I love this stamp set. I love the paper so much. I bought like three packs, two packs, whatever we could order, as demonstrated early. I bought, and I I do have a brother's scan and cut, um, because there's just certain stamp sets that don't have dies, and so I use my scan and cut because it's one machine. Versus, I mean, I think a Cricut, you can scan it in and do stuff. I have no idea. I don't have one. Well, I have an old Cricut that I use for their Disney stuff. But um, that's all. My scan and cut doesn't have to be. It can be hooked up to a computer, but it doesn't have to be. You can scan it independently. And so I actually scanned this paper by itself like I put the paper on the map scanned it and it cut out all these little snails isn't that adorable oh my god now if that was not adorable enough it comes in the stamp set now in real life I hate slugs I will just tell you, they creep me out. We actually had a patient one time when I worked orthopedics that got leech therapy. I have never refused to take care of a patient and thank the stars that was not my patient that day because I wigged out. I was like, no way in the world I was putting that leech on that person. The person, the nurse who was assigned that patient was thrilled like he was actually giddy that he got to do it he had to go down to the lab had to check the little thing out it was in this little cup he was thrilled to death that he got to do that that night it was this big thing it was procedure way it had to be done oh my god about the thought of it i remember being a teen a teenager my parents want to go um we had to like put the net in the river for um, crawdads and the leeches got on me and I about cried my eyes out until my mother got those things off my legs. I mean, so, ugh, whatever. So, but these guys are adorable and this card is so super easy, this tag. And I think it makes a perfect bookmark. So, I will stop yapping. I miss you guys. I'm so glad to be back to my Facebook. But I did get to spend four great days with my grandson last week, which is why I missed doing my Facebook, because I was thinking about doing it, but he was white on rice with me, let me tell you. Whew, that kid would not go away from me. I'm going to turn my camera down. I am going to order me a new mount for my iPad. All right, so we start out with a great big circle. This is just the largest um, scallop. And then I use the stitched circles and cut out some of the paper. Um, I use the one with all the hellos. Got to get me some tape out of my drawer. Hopefully there's still enough on here. And this just goes right down there on the bottom of it. And as you can see, it's a very tight fit. Now, 
then um, I have some mushrooms that are cut out and then of course I have my little snail and then we have this wonderful punch this is a dual punch now you have the oval the scallop here and the circle here I find the easiest way is to get you a piece of paper and I found if you cut it to one and a quarter okay one and a quarter get out of my trimmer then that will fit right there okay then you're not wasting all your paper all right so I'm gonna have that then I got my cherry cobbler ink and I can just stamp right there. And I'm gonna get me a little bit of glue here. And, oh, I need my cherry cobbler. So I can just take my cherry cobbler, slide it at the top and punch that one out. And then boom. This is why you need white glue so you can wiggle a little, a little bit. Now, I find it's easier to put the glue at the bottom, kind of, because my mushroom isn't going to go down as far as my snail. So, kind of want to see where I want my mushroom. And I kind of want my snail then you have to decide if you want your snail on top so I do so I'm going to put my snail it on the bottom and then I'm going to put my mushroom on some dimensionals okay and then that way I can Probably even put this guy up a little higher. Okay. That way it can be seen a little bit better. And then once that's on, I have an old Stampin' Up! punch here. So just one that's got a really tiny hole. I'm going to put my hole just like that. Then I'm gonna take me some of the pink twine, just slide it through the hole. It's a little bit frayed here. Let me see if I got scissors. snips really all I have to do is go through a hole It is a really tiny punch, but I didn't want a great big hole. And I didn't make this string real long because I really wanted these to be more of a bookmark, but I didn't want like nothing, so. All right, and then I felt like they still needed a little something else. I didn't want them to be 
so I went ahead. These were so cute. These are like little resin hearts. So I put the red one down here at the bottom and then a white one up here on the mushrooms. Okay. And here's some of the other ones. So here's one with this little blue guy. And these are just some little, there's little mushrooms on the paper. So I just put like three of them together. Here's the blue guy with the big mushroom, but I moved him a little bit just to, and then there's that one. So these are what's going with my catalogs when people request them. I have some extras, so as I get new requests, I have some to go. So that's it. That's all my yapping for tonight, guys. If you have any questions about the new catalog release, don't hesitate to message me. Um, I promise I will be having the video for the sweet treats coming out later on tonight, and I'm going to work on the color splash challenge card tomorrow so that'll be out this week and also my new class will be out this week i'm gonna work hard tonight and tomorrow have new stuff for you thank you guys so much for sticking with me tonight i appreciate it and have a great week talk to you later bye